Hello, 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 and welcome to another Angry Unit of the Reek. And today we're taking a look at the RIPE 48 c and V. The RIPE 48 is a rather early example of a quite modern APC design. It ended up starting its development in the mid 50s, originally as a vehicle uh, intended to transport the Dutch royal family in case of emergency, such as a Soviet invasion, they wanted an armored vehicle to get them the hell out. However, design requirements would change, and it would end up being repurposed more into a traditional infantry-based APC. Some of the first prototypes would end up being showcased off in 1959, now it wasn't until the mid-60s when it actually entered into official service. It was an 8x6 vehicle, meaning that 6 of the 8 road reels actually had a drivetrain, the second set of reels from the front don't actually have any drive power, it was originally armed with a 50 caliber machine gun, and just over 700 were made by the DAF factory in the Netherlands. And like with a lot of APCs, it would end up being repurposed to a whole heap of roles, such as medical transport, reconnaissance, mortars, command vehicles, you name it. The model that we're talking about in game with the 25mm cannon is actually a prototype, and from what I could do my research of, it didn't actually exist. It was basically a prototype with a Swiss Orlikon 25mm cannon strapped on top. In game, the Ray P48 CNV is a 25 point reconnaissance vehicle available to the Dutch, and it has a single weapon. And that weapon being the 25mm cannon with 390 rounds of ammunition. It's got 1.75km range on the ground, 1.5 against helicopters. Roughly 25% accuracy, 10% on the move, 2 AP, 1 HE, and a pretty decent rate of fire of 562 rounds a minute. It's basically a faster firing but less accurate burst fire or burst master autocannon. It's just a decent autocannon, really. But as a card holding member of Coast of the Autocannon, I really approve any autocannon. Apart from the rod, and that thing barely counts. Up down to miscellaneous stats, has two frontal armor, run at side, run at back, and one at top. Medium size, good optics, a speed of 80 kilometers off road, 150 on a road. Medium stealth, pretty decent fuel autonomy. Is type restricted to marines, motorized, airborne support, and mechanized decks. And it's also a prototype. In battle, the Ray P 48 C and V. Pretty much joins a long list of a whole heap of autocannon based light reconnaissance vehicles in the, you know, 20 to 30 point range. And it's not a terrible vehicle for being one of those many vehicles. Your autocannon serviceable, it's fast, it has decent stealth. I mean, you don't have much armor, but that's kind of the gimmick. You're supposed to go fast and not get hit. However, there is a bit of a problem with the vehicle. Well, not so much a vehicle, but if you're playing, as a reasonable person should, Dutch-German core compared to just straight Dutch, well, you're going to have the German allies, and the Germans bring this rather lovely vehicle, the SPPZ Lux, which for the same price is arguably quite a bit better. It's a lower less accurate and has a lower less range, but you have faster fate of fire, a little bit faster in terms of vehicle mobility, also being amphibious, better autonomy, and you also get an extra machine gun, which is quite nice. And it really just outshines this Dutch vehicle quite a bit. There's really not much reason to take the ip 48 c and V if you got access to the Lukes. Overall, this is another decent auto cannon reconnaissance vehicle. It definitely does have a place in a standard uh, Dutch deck just by itself. You could also take AMX 1390 if you want to spice things up a bit. But I thought now, for whatever reason, it would be the perfect time to talk about this vehicle. So talk about it redid. And well, I'm going to leave it off at that. This has been another Ring Rouge Unit of the Week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.